Yeah, we'll get there sooner or later. <laughs> later <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you got the time in the wrong spot. Um, Representative Kirk, who is opposed to the bill. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Good afternoon to you and to members of the committee. For the record, I'm Neil Kirk, representing the town of Blair and Deering in Hillsborough District 2. Um, I'm opposed to this bill. I'd like to talk to you, explain the reasons in two respects. One, the technical uh, aspects of the bill, and secondly, the public policy behind it. With respect, first, to the technical aspects, um, on lines three through six, is uh, three through five, is the um, essence of the bill, and it says that the officer shall use the cameras at all times when the officer is interacting with the public. Um, the second section of the bill says that it is, and this is lines five through 12, that all of the details, the policy as to uh, when this will be used, uh, when it is not going to be used, the retention period, uh, method for replacing non-functioning -fun equipment, logging policy, etc., shall be determined by the director of state police. Uh, I think it would be an abdication of our responsibility as legislators to, in effect, delegate public policy decisions to be made by an administrative agency. Um, it is this legislature should, that should be determining um, when and if these cameras are to be used, how they're to be kept, um, and all of, and, and on most of the items that are here. We are in effect not setting public policy under this bill in extremely important areas. And so I think if the committee is to go forward with the bill, it needs to decide all of the issues that are set forth in line six through 12, and not simply delegate them to an unelected executive branch official. Uh, number two, it's not clear from the bill whether or not all of the information recorded is subject to the New Hampshire right to know law. I think that's a policy question that needs to be decided. Can I go in, for example, in where and ask for all of the recordings by Officer X because I want to see how he's doing as a policeman? Or can I go in and ask for all of the recordings on my nasty neighbor Jonesy and see if there's anything there that I can use in our dispute over a property line? So we need to, we, we need to establish a policy uh, on that, and that clearly needs to be in legislation. Uh, and the final technical issue is this. Somebody raised the question, well, do we need to have this bill or can the department run a pilot program on its own? And I think the answer is you must have some sort of legislation because under this bill, if a patrolman is interacting with a member of the public while on the state highway, for example, a drunken driver stop or something like that, he has got to use his camera. And the law currently specifically says you can't use the, the state government, state employees, cannot use cameras on the state highways. So you have to write it an exception if they were to do a pilot program, otherwise they wouldn't have the legal authority to do that. So, those are the technical issues uh, that I have with the bill. Now I'd like to talk about the public policy. As uh, members of this committee will uh, in particular remember, we had a debate last week on the House floor. And the decision was we didn't want license plate scanners taking pictures of people, vehicles, or whatever on state highways. Um, now comes a bill that says a police officer with a camera is going to do just that. I think that this is the wrong time for this bill. Uh, moreover, I think it's going to have a very deleterious effect, more so than what Commissioner Sweeney said, on the relationship between people and state police officers. For example, um, when the state police knocks at my door because they're just asking an innocent inquiry, they're looking for a lost child or whatever it is, am I going to open my door knowing that that officer has a camera and is going to take pictures of the inside of my house with his camera because as I open the door he's going to see it and the camera will take those pictures. Um, and if he's not going to be allowed to do that, 
that needs to be in here. Um, Commissioner Sweeney spoke about relations at the diner. Um, I don't know that I'd want to interact with a policeman because everything that I did, unless you do otherwise, is, is available to the public. Um, many of us in New Hampshire are, are really private people, and just because the cops are around doesn't mean we want that recording to be available to our friends and neighbors and see it on Channel 9. Uh, so I, I think that the concept that we're trying to make sure that the police do their job well and that there are no violations of civil liberties, which I think is the motivation behind this, um, comes in direct conflict with the desire of all of us to have an effective police force and to be able to say, I'm a private person. I don't want the police taking pictures of me just because I happen to interact with them. So to me, the answer in that debate is pretty clear. And I think you know on which side I am. Um, but, I, but it is a question that this committee uh, has to deal with. Um, in my opinion, this bill should be killed. Um, it may be worth studying it for some of its aspects, but, but I think it's in direct, contra, in direct conflict with what this House decided last week, and frankly, with what the people of New Hampshire wanted. Uh, the idea that just because I interact with a policeman, I'm on candid camera, is strikingly against New Hampshire values. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, I appreciate your concerns, and especially the weighing of certain rights, but I'm not sure I understand comparing this to the scanners when everybody's license plate, whether they're in the car or not, would be scanned, when this bill only deals with somebody being filmed by the policeman when that person is stopped. I, I don't understand the, how the comparison holds there, but I'm sure you'll help us. I'm not sure that I was trying to make that comparison. What I was saying is that under current law, the taking of photographs on the state highway, whether, it, highway, whether it's by a license plate scanner or by a camera, which would be activated presumably by the officer under the rules when he was going to make a traffic stop, is prohibited. There's no distinction. So if you want the department to do a pilot program, as was discussed, you would have to change the law to allow that to occur. That was my only point. I was making the other point that, um, and I, perhaps this is what you were alluding to, it may be a smaller number of um, instances, but in this case, as unlike the license plate scanner case, the license plate scanners only took pictures of the plates not the vehicles, except incidentally, and certainly not the occupants. This is very different, and from my point of view, even worse. It's taking pictures of the occupants, it's taking pictures of, and these occupants have nothing to do with the driver. It's taking pictures of the driver, it's taking pictures of the car, it's taking pictures of the scene, and all you've done, perhaps, is have a broken tail. Uh, not everything we, we do needs to be uh, photographed and recorded for history. <clears throat> no, uh, you said those cameras, thank you for taking my question. But you say the cop is standing, the police officer or the state trooper is standing outside of the car and he's talking to you and his camera's over here. He's going to scan all, he's going to, all cars, you say 10 cars go by, that camera's going to pick up all those plates, won't it? I imagine it would, but whether at a, at a degree of resolution that would allow people to see faces or identify vehicles or capture license plates, <coughs> I don't know. It depends on how good the cameras are. Uh, uh, follow up. And then another thing too is, like you living in you're in where and stuff, the expense to, for the town and everything that would make it a really stressful thing for the on the budget also, wouldn't it? to supply uh, all the equipment for that to, to go on? It would, but I don't think that's allowed under this bill. This no, bill is very not. clear that it's only for the state police. Local towns would not have an option under this bill. And frankly, even if they did have an option, if the folks in your town or my town wanted to spend the money, well, that's their decision. But this bill doesn't, de doesn't provide for that option. Thank you. Representative Martin. Did you ask for I'm also. Representative Martin. Thank you. Would there be a way to limit the use of these that might meet your satisfaction, such as only 
limiting them to being used on traffic stops. You mentioned earlier how if somebody goes to your door, they don't want to see what's behind you or maybe see in your pajamas, but people are on public roadways and being pulled over on a routine or non-routine traffic stop, if we're limited to that type of use, might that be more palatable to you? I, I can't, certainly if this were limited to very specific situations, it, it perhaps could become acceptable. I can't off the top of my head envision all of the situations and therefore suggest which ones. My question is twofold. First of all, would that serve the purpose of the bill? Maybe in a limited way. And secondly, um, like everything else we do, um, it's the slippery slope, the camel's nose under the tent. Today, oh, just traffic stops. Tomorrow, <laughs> the world. So I'd be concerned about that, but it's possible to do something that might satisfy um, proponents and opponents' interests. Thank you. Sir, I, no, I, I, I appreciate the balance of the act. Um, you know, we, we try to wrestle with, with this emerging technology. I'm trying to understand, from your perspective, what, how this is distinguishable from dash cameras, which we already have. <coughs> I mean, if, if, if we already have dashboard cameras that are recording police stops, then I'm trying to see how it, that differs very much from having a camera on a, on a, on a body. I'm, I'm not sure that it does. I certainly am not a proponent of dash cameras. I'm not sure how legal they are. I don't know if they, uh, I don't believe there's an exception in the statute, but it may be that Commissioner Sweeney can explain why that's a different kettle of fish. Representative Robinson. Thank you, Madam Chairman. The illustration you gave uh, about jail life, if the policeman stops you and brings you into court and he says your light was out and there's no picture, how do you it's your word against his, and I hate to say this, but uh, policeman's word usually uh, finish ahead of the civilian, and he said, well, he must have had it fixed after I stopped him. Of course, he would be smart to have it fixed because he could be stopped again, and you say, there was nothing wrong with my life. Guess who's going to win, and why wouldn't I want it protects the non-policeman <laughs> just as much as the policeman from false claims. And, and I, maybe you don't realize, but policemen do happen to be human beings who have likes, dislikes, <coughs> have uh, faults and uh, non-faults. I, I think your point is well taken, Representative Robertson. I think uh, there could be some use for these cameras in very limited circumstances, and that's what Representative Warden was getting to. But that would require a great deal of work on the part of the committee, and certainly the committee is capable of doing it to determine where these cameras could and should be used. As I said, there's always the slippery slope danger, but that's a risk we take in life. So if the committee is of the opinion that there are a limited number of cases in which these cameras, the advantages of having these cameras outweighs any potential privacy invasion, then I think the committee should put forward the bill. But this bill is not so limited. This bill is totally comprehensive. Uh, I, I, I would think, I'm a policeman, I want to be a target, so I make a lot of arrests that I know it's going to be my word against this. I would, I, I would take, this would take that advantage away from them, and I would, having lived quite a few years and having occasionally interacted with policemen, 99% or 100% have been fine. I was guilty of what they found, but there was one case in which he was taking bribes, and I was 18 and in New York State, not much I could do. I gave him his bribe. But if there'd been a camera. That was a few years ago, right? Again, <laughs> my, I, I, would, I would only comment that if a police officer is taking bribes, that camera's not going to be on. 